Did you know that you can create issues directly in a GitHub project without having to first go to a repository and create it? Well, I'm going to show you how. Here we go. Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset, and in today's video, we are going to look at how to create new issues in your GitHub project without leaving the project. This is a nice feature, as it allows you to create the work that needs to be done while not leaving your planning tool. We are also going to learn about draft issues in GitHub projects. Now, draft issues are useful for quickly capturing ideas, and unlike a real issue, a draft issue only exists in the project. And if you find the need to promote it to be a full issue, you can do that with the click of a link. All right, let's go create some new issues. Let's look at how we can create new issues from our project board. So when we're on our project board, we can click the plus sign and say create new issue. This opens up this dialog where we can select the repository, in this case, our YouTube repository. We can give this a title. We'll call this my fourth issue. You can do things like set assignees, set labels, um, set milestones, projects. Leave a comment. So this is my fourth issue. And if I know I'm going to create more than one issue, I can click the Create More checkbox, and I click Create. This adds the fourth issue, creates an issue in the repository, in the YouTube repository, and adds it to the board. And now I can say my fifth issue. This is my fifth issue. And I can click Create. So from the project board itself, I can create multiple issues that will be added to a repository and will also be added to the board at the same time. Now, there may be times when you want to add something to the board, but maybe it's not a real issue yet. Maybe it's not a fully fleshed out idea. Maybe it's just something you want to remember to keep track of. So to do that, you can just come in here next to the plus and just start typing the title that you want it to have. Uh, I am thinking about things. This is what's called a draft issue. And you can see it's a draft issue because it has a little circular dashes here. Now I can go into the draft issue and a draft issue I can give it I can give a name and I can give a description to working on things. And this is a markdown. I can add all kind of markdown to this if I want to. And I can work with a draft issue just like I do my other issues when it's on the board. I can, um, you know, move it around, etc. But when I'm ready to take this issue and actually do something and actually make it a full issue, when I'm ready to take this draft issue and make it a real issue, I can click Convert to Issue. And I select the repository where I want that issue to go. And it has now created a new issue, it's giving it a number six. You can see I have the issue interface here where I can um, add comments to the issue. I can see who it's assigned to, labels, etc. And if I click open in a new tab, then we'll see that I am in the YouTube repository. And this is an issue that has been created in the YouTube repository. I also want to show you real quick. If you look at my first issue, you can see all of the times that we added and removed it from a project. So when you do things on a, a project or to an issue on a project, it's going to track that on the issues timeline. I hope you've enjoyed this video on an introduction to how you can create new issues directly in a GitHub project. If so, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and smash that bell to be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching.